Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we're going to be talking about the three new banners that just came out last night for Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra, Kingdom Hearts 3 Ventus, and Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua, which introduced the new Supernova Renew mechanic that restores previous Supernovas. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the Supernova Renew, then we're going to talk about the banner, then the medal, then the draw odds, and then we're going to wrap it up with my final thoughts and whether or not I think you should be pulling for this banner. So first things first, once we open up the notice here, right past the images and this little tiny flavor text at the top here, we start talking about the Supernova Renew right from the get-go. So Supernova Renew is a mechanic where green supernovas are able to restore the supernova activation of blue supernovas. So remember that when you activate a blue supernova, it normally goes away. With this new green supernova, you're able to restore certain blue supernovas. So let me go ahead and pull up a screenshot I took earlier. So, if you look at my supernovas, which are all listed on the right of the screen, most of them are blue, with the last one being that new Supernova++ Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua. That one has a green border, and it has the ability to restore some of the blue border supernova attacks. So, within the text of the green supernova attack, it says which ones are regenerated. So, for example, if we go back to the notice here... And again, this is sort of a preview for when we talk about the metals. So within the supernova text for Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra, you see Power Metal Supernova Renew. So that means it restores, Terra will restore all the supernova attacks for Power Metals. So within the text of the supernova, it says exactly which ones it's going to restore, which is important for when you are planning out your attacks, figuring out which keyblades to use, which metals to use, etc, etc. So again, displayed as a green supernova, and it will tell you exactly which ones that it will revive, which supernovas will come back with it. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how these green supernovas work. So I have my starlight here. It's got a lot of different attributes on it. It's got a lot of different types of metals on it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to activate each one of our supernova metals, and then at the very end, we're going to activate our Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua, which when you look at the supernova for it, um, it will... Where does it say it? It says it, it should say it somewhere. Okay, it says it right at the front where it says uh, M Metal SN Renew. So that means it's only going to restore the supernova attacks of magic metals. So let's go ahead and activate all of our supernovas and I can show you what I mean here. So we'll activate the Kingdom Hearts 3 Nominee, which is Upright Power, the Peter Pan, which is Upright Speed, the Angelic Amber, which is Reverse Power, the Ultimate Form Suro, which is Upright Speed the Kingdom Hearts 3 Elsa, which is Upright Magic, and then the Kingdom Hearts 3 Dust, which is Reverse Magic. Now, since we have this Aqua here, again, it only renews our... Let's actually slow down the battle speed. Um, so the Aqua only renews Magic Metals, meaning that we should only be expecting our Elsa and our Dust to return. So let's go ahead and activate that. And then you see a little regeneration pop up underneath the standard super, or the standard Nova attack. So now we have our Supernova button back. And as you can see, it did regenerate only our magic Supernova attack. So it didn't regenerate the Nominee. It didn't regenerate the Peter Pan. So just showing you that based on the metal, again, it'll say in the text which metals it brings the Supernova back for. Uh, so, the whole point of this mechanic, again, we're not going to really talk about this mechanic too much. I'm going to put Roboloid's guide for it, which is a text guide. It's going to be a lot easier to read, a lot faster to read, in the description of this video below. But the whole point of it is so that you can restore your blue supernovas, thus being able to cast them again. It's sort of like a way of giving supernova attacks an extra attack trait, sort of, uh, dependent on how you see it. So another thing just to note about this weird banner is that right below the Supernova Renew, they talk about this new Supernova++ Plus Plus Terra, Ven, and Aqua Metal. Now there's a lot of text in here. The most important thing that you're going to have to read out of all this is you will need 280 limited VIP coins in order to get Supernova++ Plus Plus Terra, Ven, and Aqua, which is astounding. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, let's let's convert that into jewels because that's, that's the way we speak in this game, right? So it's going to be... 280 VIP coins, you get 10 VIP coins per pull, that's 28 pulls, 20 pulls at 30, or I'm sorry, 20 pulls at 3,000 jewels a pull is 84,000 jewels to get one copy of this Supernova++ Plus Plus Terra, Ven, and Aqua, which is just ridiculous, so we're gonna just glaze over that real quick, and then we're gonna keep talking about the banner itself. 
So let's go on ahead and talk about the actual banners themselves. So you have until January 20th to decide if you want to pull for these, which is a pretty decent amount of time. You get about 10 days to decide if you want to pull for them. And each banner comes with a few things that is not really out of the normal. So from each banner, one pull is going to get you three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals, one trait medal, six general medals, which are five star or higher, 10 VIP coins, which is pretty much just traits, and then three gems based on the banner that you pull from. So for the gems and for the trait, it's going to be based on the banner you pull from. So if you pull from the Terra banner, you're getting a Terra trait and three power gems. If you pull from the Aqua banner, you're getting one Aqua trait medal and then three magic gems. Same goes for the Ventus. If you pull from the Ventus banner, you are getting one Ventus trait and three speed gems. Now, one thing to note about these banners is that all three of these medals exist in each one of these banners. So, for example, if you pull from the Terra banner, you have a chance to get both Aqua or Ventus. If you pull from the Aqua banner, you can get Terra or Ventus. And then if you pull from the Ventus banner, you have a chance of getting Aqua and Terra. So that's pretty cool that each one exists in the other's banners because that means you can still be pulling for one. Let's say I wanted to pull for Aqua, which I'm going to, and then I just run into a Terra medal. That would be super sweet because then by the end of those 10 Mercy pulls, I have two medals that are able to do the Supernova Renew. So I think that's pretty cool that they exist um, in each other's banners. Now, it doesn't say it explicitly in here, but remember that these are guaranteed within 10 draws so that means if you pull from the Terra banner and then you get the Terra early it's gonna reset it so that you have to do 10 more pulls to guarantee another Terra medal so let's say you have like six pulls left to go and you draw Terra on the fifth one it's gonna reset the count so that you have to do 10 more pulls um, but if it's anything like previous ones where if you're pulling for Terra and then you get an aqua in like the fourth draw it shouldn't reset the count so that you still have only six more pulls to go until you get the tarot so pretty cool stuff there that they each exist in each other's banners now let's go ahead and just briefly talk about the medals themselves so here are the medals they look super super cool um i saw a post where someone's like you know what i see when i see these medals legs because <laughs> there are some really long legs in these medals all right, let's go ahead and talk about the medals. So pretty much these medals are all more or less clones of each other, minus a few differences, a little bit of a difference in strength. Obviously, they're all different attributes. So Terra is power, Ventus is speed, and Aqua is magic. And then their buffs are slightly different, again, being locked to their own attributes. So let's go ahead and talk about the medals themselves. So each one of them is going to have a maximum strength that is greater than 40k, which is the standard for today. Um, each one of them target all metals and do five hits. Now keep in mind that these five hits do affect count. So if you're fighting a red counter enemy, it's going to decrease the count by one. If you're fighting a blue counter enemy, it's going to decrease the count by five. So just keep that in mind that these do affect count. For one turn, these offer perfect buffs for their specific attribute and for upright. So for example, for Terra, if you cast a special attack, it's gonna give you perfect upright power buff. So plus 15 general strength, plus 15 upright strength, and plus 15 power strength. And then it's gonna get perfect debuffs on the enemy. So that's minus 15 general defense, minus 15 upright defense, and minus 15 power defense, which is really, really good because that means the metal is able to take care of itself. It's going to be the same deal with Ventus and Aqua, again, being specific to their attribute. So Aqua will have perfect magic buffs and debuffs, and then Ventus is going to have perfect speed buffs and debuffs. Now, none of these metals touch reverse, so just keep that in mind, that there is no reverse strength or no reverse defense down with any of these metals. They're all locked to upright and then to each of their specific power, speed, magic attribute. So, looking at uh, the rest of the metal, it only costs 1 gauge to activate these, and their multiplier is between at the lowest 16.64 and 18.14 at the highest. So, the damage plus condition is 1 enemy or 0 parts left, meaning that if there are multiple enemies that you're fighting right now, it's going to be closer to that 16.64 multiplier, and if there's only 1 enemy left, it's going to be more towards that 18.14 multiplier. So, quite a range, um, but a pretty easy condition to meet, making it good for things for raids for example all right let's talk about the actual supernova skill so the supernova attack will hit all it's got mastery which means it's going to deal more damage against an enemy that is weak to its attribute so for example if you're fighting a magic enemy with the ventus the supernova attack of the ventus is going to do more damage than a regular standard 
non-mastery green supernova or not green supernova speed supernova attack um so yeah they all have mastery they have that supernova renew again i'm gonna be posting roboloid's guide in the description below because reading it on text is probably going to be a lot easier for some people and a lot faster so shout out to roboloid for creating that guide it's definitely going to help a lot of people out um, other than that, the Supernova attack has the ability to increase special attack bonus plus 300, which is pretty high. That's actually the new high standard is plus 300%, which is really good. And then it triggers before slot 6 is activated when defending in PvP. Now let's go ahead and move over to the draw odds here. So looking at the draw odds, again, I like looking at the draw odds because you know exactly what's available to you. So when we talked about the banner and how there are these uh, six general medals and these three Kingdom Hearts three medals you can get, when you look at the draw odds, you can see that there's no chance of any of the newer tier 10s or the newer even tier 9 medals here. So again, these supernovas stop at... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Roxas being the most recent one, but like I said earlier, you do have a chance for the other two when you pull from one's banner. So if you pull for Terra, again, here are the odds. You can get an Aqua Medal, and you can get potentially a Ventus Medal. So that's super cool that they exist in each other's banners. Now, I crunched out all the math for these. So when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts 3 Medals, which is going to be this guarantee A here, so these are going to represent the odds for pulling and then looking at those three guaranteed Kingdom Hearts 3 medals. So crunching out the math, um, to get any one of these three from those Kingdom Hearts 3 medals, there is a one every 155 medals is going to be the one of these three uh, new tier 10s. So that's one every 16 pulls is going to get an early access Supernova Renew medal. Um, when we look at the general medals, which are again those six general five star or higher medals here's the odds for those and for that it's one every 204 medals is going to be one of these new supernova renew tier 10 medals so that's one every 21 pulls so that's actually not too bad that means if you're let's say you're with a buddy there's two people right there and then each of you is going to do a 10 mercy pull there's a likely chance that one of you is going to get an early supernova or new medal so that's actually pretty cool that the odds are actually pretty high it's always like this for the birth by sleep trio because i don't know they always i feel like they always increase the odds for the birth by sleep trio i'm not really sure but again for the kingdom hearts three medals one every 16 pulls is getting an early uh supernova or new medal and then for the general medals one every 21 pulls is going to be getting an early supernova or new medal so super cool stuff there now let's go ahead and just save it on the uh on the medals themselves and then I'll talk about my thoughts so let's pull them up right here all right so my thoughts is that the banner itself is good it's actually standard for what we've got right now where you get three Kingdom Hearts three medals one trade medal from the banner that you're pulling for six general medals some VIP coins and then some power gems or magic gems or speed gems whichever one you're pulling for so that's pretty standard stuff at this point for us um, but aside from that I feel like Again, the banner is just standard. It's just good. They, the bad thing about it is that they don't have the newer tier 10s or tier 9s in the pull, meaning that you're likely to draw another Kingdom Hearts, the Roxas, and Angelic Amber, etc., etc. But remember, those are good for subslots, and they can also be used technically for the points banner themselves. Talking about the medals, though, aside from their Supernova, I actually don't think these medals are anything particularly special. I really think it's that new mechanic that actually makes these even worth pulling for. So... Aside from their supernova, the best part about these medals is that they're self-buffing, meaning that they give you perfect buffs and give the enemy perfect debuffs for the medal itself. The medal is able to take care of itself in terms of buffs and debuffs, which I think is really, really good. So this is important for things like when you fight a barrier master. Remember that when you defeat a barrier master, it resets all your buffs and resets all the debuffs of the enemy. Then this metal comes along and then pretty much takes care of rebuffing yourself and debuffing the enemy, which is always a good skill to have. And this type of ability is uh, something that we've seen before, but hasn't been seen recently. So these are all the medals that I have that have the ability to restore general strength, PSM strength, and then upright or reverse strength, and then give perfect debuff. So these are all those medals. And as you can see here, a lot of tier 8s, the only tier 10 I think that exists in here for me right now is actually just Naminé. 
So I think the only two tier, tier 10s that would exist in this category are going to be, I believe, Era, Envy, and Namine. But those are the only ones. Um, so having metals that are able to self-buff and self-debuff the enemy is super good. Like, it's, it's a good way of a metal being able to take care of itself. And I always say one of the best strengths of a metal is how many other metals you need in order to make it work properly. In this case, you don't need any additional metals in order to make the metal special attack work properly. So I think that's really good that they have that self-buffing slash debuffing capacity. Um, however, when it comes to the new Supernova Renew mechanic, I don't think it's super relevant to all players right now. So, yes, it's pretty much giving Supernova's extra attack, which is really broken, because when extra attack came first, first came out, everyone was like freaking out about it. Um, but it really depends on what other Supernova medals you have. So, for example, let's go ahead and show you two setups that I made with my counterpoint. Okay, so this is going to be the first setup where we think that this new Supernova Renew is going to be super good. So the reason that it's going to be really great is because it'll restore, let's say I had the Aqua, Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, Aqua, Supernova++. Plus Plus. Let's say I had her in this pet slot right here, okay? So let's actually grab an Aqua Metal to illustrate the point. Okay. So let's just say this is the new Supernova Renew Aqua Metal. So for this particular setup, it's really good because all the Supernova attacks of these magic metals have some form of strength increase. So for example, Kingdom Hearts 3 Dust increases magic metal strength by uh, 5,000. Elsa increases magic metal strength by 4,500. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B increases upright metal strength by 5,000. And then second form Sora has a supernova attack that increases upright metal strength by 4,000. So that's pretty much only all, that's pretty much almost plus 20,000 in terms of uh, magic metal strength bonus that I'm getting from my supernova attacks. So in this particular case, having the aqua would be super good because it restores all of those supernova attacks. I can use them again and then I'm pretty much almost plus 40k extra in terms of magic metal strength. Now this is a case where it works really well. This is a case where it actually works really really bad. So for example, let's say I have to pull another aqua metal here just to illustrate the point. So let's just say now this dark aqua or this anti aqua is going to represent the new uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Supernova++ plus plus Aqua. So in this case, yes, if I activated the green Supernova, it would bring back all my Magic Metal Supernova attacks, but none of these Supernova attacks increase Magic Metal strength. It's only just the special attack that does that for this metal. So, as you can see here, no Magic Metal Strength Plus in this Supernova description. So in this particular case, having the new Supernova new only does damage. It doesn't give you additional buffing, which is the main point of the metal. Now we got to think about which players this applies to. So this particular setup where I said everything was good, these are all good metals to have with the Supernova new, this is mainly going to be players that have been playing for a long time. I drew this Kyrie like months ago, this Elsa was last month, this was last month, this was like two months ago. So really, the Supernova and New Metals are going to be really good for people that have a bunch of metals that give Supernova plus strength. So for example, again, this effect right here, Magic Metal Strength plus 4,500. These are the players that have these metals that are going to be getting a lot of use out of the new green Supernovas, the Renew Supernovas. But for newer players, or people that have setups that look more like this, where they don't have a lot of the newer stuff, where they don't have, like, Namine, they don't have Kyrie B, they don't have Second Form Sora, they don't have Elsa, these players won't benefit as much from the Supernova Renew, because the whole point of the Supernova Renew is to attempt to get additional strength from the Supernova activation. So for these particular players, it's better off, in my opinion, to hold off on spending jewels until they have supernovas that can support having supernova renew. So once you become a player like this, this is where supernova renew, blah, 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 blah. This is where supernova renew is going to be super useful. But if you're a player that's like this, where you don't have a lot of supernovas that give you metal strength up, then you're better off holding off, in my opinion, saving those 30,000 jewels for something down the line. 
So these supernova renew medals are most useful for people that have supernovas that give you metal strength up. If you're just using a supernova renew and you have a setup like this, it's mainly just for damage, and that's not really the whole point of having the supernova renew. Yes, it's good because again, it gives like an extra attack, but at the same time, it's not living up to its full potential unless you have metals that give metal strength plus for their supernova attack. Um, another thing that I think is that this mechanic is going to show up elsewhere. Now, I can already see it down the line, maybe March, maybe April for the anniversary. We're going to see Kyrie and Shion medals as buffer medals return with the ability to restore either upright supernova attacks for the Kyrie medal or reverse supernova attacks for the Shion medal. So I see this being a mechanic that they're not going to limit to this Birth by Sleep trio. So if you have, again, a setup like this that doesn't really support having Supernova renewed to the maximum, then I'd probably wait off because when that new Kyrie or that new Shion is likely to come back up, it's probably going to be a 10 Mercy pull, and that's going to be 30k jewels that you saved from not spending on this banner. So really tailor the idea of getting these renew medals around your own game, around your own Supernova medals, because for a player like me that again has setups that look like this, having that Kingdom Hearts 3 Supernova++ plus plus Aqua is going to be really beneficial to me. But if you're a newer player and you just don't have the Supernova support, and you have something that maybe looks like this, maybe hold off on it because there's no real need for you to pull right now for it. Yes, the medals do also work as damaging medals, but again, to live these medals up to the highest potential, you're going to need a lot of supernova attacks that already increase your metal strength. So that's my take on it. It's not for everyone. Yes, it's going to be the meta moving forward, but pulling now could mean not being able to pull later for potentially better medals that are going to have this same mechanic. So really tailor it around your game, really tailor it around what you think you need, and then go from there. Um, however, one little disclaimer here, odds are if you don't have these and you want to score high in PvP, it's not going to happen anymore. I could really see the top ranks of PvP having at least two or three copies of each of these on all of their setups. So just keep in mind that unless if you don't want to buy for this medal, odds are your average rank in PvP is probably going to drop, in my opinion. Just, just a thought, just because, again, giving extra attack to even just supernova attacks, even if you're only using it for damage, not even for the metal strength plus, can stack up a lot of damage and can potentially win you the entire PvP round. So, likely, if you don't have any of these medals, you're going to be falling a little bit shorter in PvP in comparison to players that do have this. So, are these medals game-changing? Yes. But their ability to change your specific game is going to be based around your other metals and what supernova attacks you have available to you. Because again, if you have a setup like the one that I'm showing right here, none of these supernova attacks give you metal strength plus. They don't give you any form of strength stacking, none of that. However, if you're more of a veteran player or you have metal support that looks more like this, odds are you're going to benefit greatly from having this new supernova renew mechanic. So take that as you will. That's my personal thought on it. Down the line, everyone is going to need it, yes, for one reason or another. Uh, but as of right now, I can see only veterans and smart shoppers and people that have supernova skills like the ones that I show on the screen right here benefiting the most. Whereas people that don't have a lot of good supernova support might want to hold off until this mechanic is released again with the new Kyrie or Shion. Again, that's, that's what I'm expecting. There's no guarantee, but that's exactly what I'm expecting for a new buffer. Um, so that's it for the Supernova and New Medals, everything that I want to talk about. The last thing I really want to talk about is the new TVA Medal, which again, let's pull it up real quick right here. And do I think it's worth it? And the long or the short answer is no. <laughs> this thing is going to cost you, no matter what you do, it's going to cost you 280 VIP coins, which is... 8, or 84,000 jewels, which is just not worth it. There's so many things that you could buy with 84,000 jewels that I just don't think it's worth it to buy this medal unless you're a super whale. The condition for getting the TVA medal last year was to have a copy of each Terra, Ventus, and Aqua medal and have them with at least five traits. That was a much easier condition to meet than having 280 VIP coins, which I think is ridiculous. I think the medal is good. It's got a lot of power built into it. And it's got the ability to 
Supernova renew all upright metals. But again, I really expect a Kyrie metal to come within the next few months that's able to do that, and it buffs you. So it's probably going to just replace this ability entirely. So for 84,000 jewels, it's a big no for me. Nothing in this game, I think, is worth 84,000 jewels. Nothing. So that's my take on the Supernova Renew, as well as on the TVA medal, whether or not I think you should buy them. So if you're a veteran player, again, you have the Supernova support. Yes, buy it. I think it's going to be worth it, and it's going to be a mechanic that we're using for the next few months, if not longer. Uh, but if you're like a newer player, you don't have the Supernova support, then I wouldn't I wouldn't think about getting it right now. There's no real need to unless you know for sure it's going to help you pass some content. If you know for sure it's going to let you get higher in PvE. If you know it's going to help you pass the Villains event, things like that. If you're not struggling, again, you don't need to pull for anything. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if there are any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. My Discord is on the left right there in that tiny yellow box below the screen, so feel free to join if you want to talk about some of your polls or give some thoughts about the game, help some new players out. So feel free to join. It's open to everyone, and that link is permanent, so you can always take a look at it there. But again, with that being said, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, until next time, Take it easy.